So um, yeah, I'm having a studio day today. If you couldn't have told by that little kind of intro, basically I've been spending a good few hours this morning in my little studio, which is actually in the back of where I grew up. It's in the back garden of my mum and dad's house. So some of you have watched various videos of me kind of renovating this hut into a kind of working studio. So um, yeah, it's, where, it's like my old stumping ground basically. It's where we used to have friends over and have parties and it is now a kind of collaborative space between me, my dad and my mum. My dad uses it as a workshop, building various bits of furniture which I help him out with. Uh, but I also use it as a studio space. When I get the chance, this is my happy place. It's where I come to, where I just want to chill out, but also where I am beginning to put more time into making art. I've been wrapping up, as you saw, some of my old paintings, not old, but some of my paintings which I consider finished uh, but I've wrapped them up in cling film because like I said my dad uses this space as well to cut loads of wood and it's just covered everything in a thin layer of dust so I thought I'd protect them with uh, some cling film. If lockdown's taught me anything and I feel like a lot of people around the world have realised this as well it's that it's given you a chance to consider what the next few years look like of your life and for me personally art is always been there in the background. I forgot it for a few years whilst I was worried about finances and making money and paying rent and stuff. Um, but it, what I'm saying is I've realized over lockdown that I need this in my life for my mental health to keep me balanced. I need a little space where I can come and paint and kind of get creative. I'm happy to be back in the studio and I thought I'd make a little bit of a video to kind of chat, reintegrate myself back into making videos because to be honest, for the past few months, oh, it's the last thing that I wanted to do. Um, I'm so focused on the art stuff. I've just been <laughs> off the scene basically, off the radar, trying to look after myself a little bit and get my head back in the game. What perfect way to kind of bring two worlds together, i.e. YouTube and the art stuff, is to kind of start making some little videos um, about it. Without rambling on too much, that's where I'm at right now. I've got all my gear set up. These are the paints which I'm going to be making the next few layers on this uh, painting. I started doing these digital paintings, so these were all made on my iPad. I just printed them out on nice uh, watercolour paper. So it's obviously kind of like Covid related. Uh, these people just chilling in the park. These three people having a picnic all in their kind of gear. Uh, but chilling because they're on their phones and they've got wine and bread and cheese but it's kind of like a put them in the context of a nice relaxing environment kind of like calm after the storm kind of vibe and then there's loads of people kind of um, in their in their gear queuing up to get burgers and then this was actually my favorite paint digital painting that I did so I thought I'd bring it out of digital environment I guess and do this huge bloody canvas which if I put you down can you see can you see me now so yeah pretty big and it's been an interesting little challenge so far because when you're painting on an iPad use this one as an example all of these leaves I create like a single like custom stamp so there's like imagine 15 leaves in one single touch of my iPad pencil and then I've got like 15 leaves. So I just do that about 20 times and I've got this whole thing. But imagine doing that and trying to replicate it in real life with literally a paintbrush like this big or even if I choose a bigger one, imagine how many times I've got to dab that single brush to build up at, like the layers which I would have done on my iPad, basically. Really enjoying the process. Um, I've been doing a lot of work on my iPad uh, because uh, there's this little thing called NFTs floating around and I've been kind of invested in it. As soon as it came on my radar early February, I haven't kind of stopped uh, researching and learning about kind of blockchain and blockchain technology and NFTs, i.e. non-fungible tokens and how a smart contract can complement art. Sorry, this is getting very technical. Basically, I'm doing a lot of digital work and experimenting with NFTs and I'm loving it. So hopefully you'll see lots more of that kind of stuff from me. If you're interested, make sure to leave a comment. I'd love to share more on bits and pieces with you as I kind of go on my um, <laughs> journey learning about 
cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology and this is a little rambly segment of today's video i'm not really sure what this is i just wanted to pick up my camera and start filming i've got all my bits and pieces out which i need to use for this painting um and yeah it's time to just crack on with the next layer So it's been a few days since I filmed the last few clips of the video you've been watching. Thank you for watching if you made it this far into the video. The painting is finished. I have a confession and that's part of the reason why I'm not particularly happy with it. And I think the digital one's better. I do a thick outline to kind of bring all the detail to the front of the painting. Uh, so you can really see like on their jackets, on their helmets, their facial features and also the trees. Like there's these individual uh, lines kind of outlining the trees and stuff just to bring it all forward make the detail more apparent I guess what I did was a complete novice move was I used a charcoal kind of type pencil to outline it and like an absolute idiot I wanted to varnish the whole lot to kind of bring the colors out and make it a bit more vibrant by using a varnish again something I also have never done before but what happens to like a kind of chalky, like dusty material is that as soon as I touch the varnish onto the charcoal where I've done it, it smeared it all over the painting. So there's this little dark patch here, which I've tried to save. I feel like I've saved it, but also this entire dude uh, was all smudgy and black and horrible. So I've rubbed it all out and redrawn it. Uh, the suit is a little bit more gray than the others. So that was my first mistake. But that's what this painting was for. It was to kind of, I've never used acrylics, not in this capacity, not in a massive painting before. Um, and I've never used some of these weird techniques that I was using before either. Cause to be honest with you, I wasn't really sure how to handle acrylic paint. I use oil paints and that's kind of the style that I used to work in. Um, but I've never done it with acrylic. And I know that with oil paints, it takes ages to dry and I can manipulate the paint in certain ways. With acrylic, it's like bone dry in a few minutes and you're like, shit, well, that's there now. I can't get rid of it. So this for me was a huge experiment. I'm happy I did it. It's given me a newfound kind of like uh, love for my iPad uh, paintings and given me this new kind of motivation to keep going with them. Um, I have done loads. Don't actually know what one this is. I think it may be one of my faves actually look at the colors in that see and that's not even in on a very expensive print that's just on a kind of inkjet printer not on super fancy paper um but it retains the colors so well also got this ice cream truck scene which i did which again with the ipad painting it's like i started to use default brush tools like this was like a concrete or or a rock brush tool but it gives it that kind of effect of the pavement, the same way with the sky. It's like I use a cloud tool. Big, big fan of the iPad paintings and I definitely don't need to attempt to do a massive six foot canvas trying to do a representation of it, I think is where I'm going, but I'm happy with it. I now have no idea what to do with it. I plan to keep experimenting. Who knows what I can do with the uh, 
paintings that I've already done. I do have a loose plan. I kind of want to teach myself how to animate. Um, and that's one way I can launch maybe an NFT project based on these paintings. Um, anyway, what I'm saying is I'm thinking about it. I'm doing, I'm experimenting. And yeah, it's just something if you're interested in that space and interested in seeing what I'm getting up to then. Yeah, just definitely follow on. I, I talk about it a lot on my Twitter. So that's just Sean Elliott OC. If you want to keep up to date on my NFT ramblings, go over there. Thanks again for tuning in. Thanks for watching. I'll be back real soon with another video. I have no idea what that's going to be yet. But yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.